What's up, Scorpio? This is Soul here. And Scorpio, we're going to look at uh, February 2024 when it comes to love and romance relationships. Scorpio, I hope all is well. Um, do want to wish all the Scorpios who uh, celebrate and and acknowledge Valentine's Day a very happy Valentine's Day. So I'm using the Victorian Romantic Tarot to deliver your messages. Remember, this is the deck that has two lovers, two uh, emperors, and two devils, right? So if you receive any of the two, it's double the strength of that energy. I'm just going to <clears throat> excuse me, cleanse the energy from doing Libra's beautiful um, messages. Oh my God, they have seven major arcana, all positive. Anyway, let's see what's coming up here for Scorpio uh, when it comes to love and relationships. Only staying focused on um, love and romance for you guys, uh, Scorpio. Not incorporating any other areas or aspects of your life. And of course, this is for Scorpio suns, moons, risings, Venus signs as well. Energies for Scorpio. Show Scorpio what they can expect in the month of February 2024 when it comes to those relationships. What's coming up for Scorpio? And again, you know, I didn't. I don't think I mentioned it in your video. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for me to do in upcoming videos, by all means, throw in the uh, comments. I do read them and um, see what happens, right? Just trying to do something different. I know that um, someone had made a suggestion about, you know, what's coming towards you. Uh, and I can do that. I mean... I just don't know um, which particular deck would be good to do that. I guess any deck would be good. But anyway, that would be the next thing that I do. What's coming towards the signs? All right. So, Scorpio, that energy, please. Here we go, Scorpio. Well, you start off with the Major Arcana. This is the World card. So, of course, this is a chapter or a phase that may be ending for you. Chapter 29, as I always say. Chapter 30 is opening too. And I do just want to make this quick note that um, I do not incorporate my personal opinions into these readings. I read differently and, um, you know, tarot is very suggestive and it's not something that's just, you know, set in stone. This is why I don't pay any attention to no matter what deck that I purchase, uh, the LB, you know, the LWB books because they're, they're structured and if you want to be a tarot reader, you have to be able to expand your mind. You may see something in a card that has nothing to do with, you know, anything that I say, but this is what I see. Okay. So the world card here is representing relationships, opportunities of all kinds. So hmm, be on the lookout there. Next up is the Ten of Pentacles in a, a love reading here. This is just a card that represents you're feeling abundant for those Scorpios who may be already involved in the uh, relationship and it's an equal number of pentacles. So you're giving and receiving equally, okay? What you give is what you're going to get back. For the singles out there, well, you're feeling very, very, you know, abundant, but you're willing to share all of that abundance with people, Um you know, share that energy with somebody else who may come along and maybe a romantic interest. Okay. Following the Ten of Pentacles. Now you have the Justice card. The Justice card represents peace, freedom, liberty, scale. She's holding balanced energy. So you can expect your relationships or at least <clears throat> have some sort of uh, sense of balance in the month of February. Now, of course, I always now here again, the red flowing hair, the red cape, the fire. Some of you may be already in, you know, involved with relationships, with fire signs, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or it may be some new connection that may be linked to this particular sign, but that's not something that's written in stone. This card here represents someone could possibly be getting married in the month of February in front of the Justice of the Peace. That doesn't necessarily always have to be the case anyway, but you're establishing, exercising your independence, your freedom, your love, okay? Okay. Justice card. Up next now we have the Major Arcana, the Empress. Okay, you and uh, Libra are going neck and neck here. They had seven Major Arcanas. So far you got three. <clears throat> anyway, the Empress simply means a card of beauty. It represents relationships. Um, something new is growing, developing, expanding. Attach that energy to your relationships. Of course, I can't go without saying that, you know, the... Um, 
Emperance could represent, you know, pregnancy news and childbirth as well. Just like the justice card with the doves at the base of her feet, this is a card that represents, <clears throat> damn, am I losing my voice? <clears throat> this is a card that represents peace, love, and harmony, okay? Very good energy. <clears throat> All right, so the next card up is the Ten of Swords. And actually, the Ten of Swords here, uh, Scorpio, is pretty good because it's like it mirrors over here to the World card. Uh, and the Ten of Swords is a chapter that's closing and a new chapter is about to open up. Usually, um, those new chapters that open up are very, very positive, okay? Following the Ten of Swords is the Seven of Pentacles. And this uh, love reading here, Seven of Pentacles means that she's in the flower bed and she's got all these flowers it's a card of options but also too so there could be multiple options that may be open uh if scorpio is uh single and ready to receive in the month of february and make new connections um but also the pentacles represent for me uh that you're someone is either trying to obtain achieve or aspire to enter into a relationship that is going to foster a sense of security, um, just like the Ten of Pentacles, right? Uh, for, you know, a sense of security, um, safety, stability, and then long-term energies as well. Following the Seven of Pentacles, now we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so again, she's leaned up against the wall, even number of Pentacles, like the Ten of Pentacles. This is a card that I regard as the card of contentment. You're content. She's watching her lover, husband, boyfriend, doing some pottery work all is well. Okay? Like the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles is also, too, a card of options. Multiple options that may be available, specifically for the singles. Then we have the card, uh, Major Arcana, the Judgment. So what's hidden in the dark comes to the light. Spiritual uh, protection and guidance if you need it. You know, some things that you may discover about yourself or your partner that may be uh, positive or negative. Nothing threatening, okay? Um, you just want to make sure that, you know, your interactions and your uh, uh, engagements with others are very, very positive because this is a card that represents karma for me. What you put out there is what you're going to get back. So always maintain a positive attitude uh, towards self and towards others, and you shouldn't have any problems. Following the Major Arcana of the Judgment, now we have, I'm not reading reversals, how did that get in there? Now we have the Two of Wands. In this instance here, the Two of Wands simply means someone is waiting for a relationship, okay? Maybe there was some sort of um, communication or, you know, connection from the past, but maybe things broke off, fell off, or whatever. This is my timing card, so if you're waiting uh, for someone, it usually like in two days or a two week period of time that you may hear from them, but it may be sooner. Um, in other instances is something is slow and stagnating. So apply that to your relationship, maybe your relationship, maybe a Scorpio I'm speaking to is relationship is not moving as fast, uh, as they would, you know, want it to, or like it to. Okay. That's the two of wands. Now, of course, if we get any of the movement cards here, this propels the uh, Two of Wands energy, all right? So next card up is the Two of Pentacles. So there could be an interest in two people, two people interested in you, juggling, just a small amount of uh, juggling going on here. You could be dating two people, all right? In the Shadow Energy, we have the Magician. Magician is another major arcana that represents um, manifesting, so, you know, it could be the month of manifesting those desires, that relationship that you really want to have in, um, occur in your life, okay? If you are, then, you know, you still, if you're even in, you know, even if you're in a relationship, I'm sorry, Scorpio, you still could be praying or trying to manifest that, you know, not, no relationship is ever going to be perfect. But if you throw out uh, any prayers, mantras, or affirmations to the universe, you know, the universe pays attention. Just make sure that you're staying in alignment with those prayers, affirmations, and uh, mantras. And, you know, your wants and your di uh, desires will be manifested. On the negative end, I read this Scorpio. Um, yeah, I was going to say I read this Scorpio. I read this magician. <clears throat> Excuse me. I read this magician as an actual person. Now, this person could be <laughs> a little bit, um, you know, kind of like on the tricky side here. Because it's usually false energy. 
And, you know, Scorpio, you guys are good in picking out shit. So I don't think that you'll have any problems. But, you know, just be careful of anyone that you meet that's new, strangers or whatever. And we're talking about love and romance because I always pick up that the negative end of the false energy that could be, a, you know, around you is all about controlling, extracting, and manipulating. Now, of course, I always say, and I've said in the past, that you could already be dealing with those type of uh, individuals, you know, in a romantic relationship. All they're doing is manipulating you, controlling you, extracting from you, not really giving you what you want in terms of equanimity. It's always take, 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 take. They never give, 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 give. So know the difference and be discerning. Following the... Uh, Magician here, you have the uh, Queen of Cups. Okay, mother of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. Uh, this could be uh, new relationships that are formed and also, you know, existing relationships and you're full, feeling the full depths of that emotional fulfillment, you know, satisfaction. Again, with the Eight of Pentacles, contentment within and involving a relationship. Okay, the Queen comes in as also to help you uh, or to assist you in your intuition. So again, it's it's most important here uh, because of the negative end of the magician that you pay attention to your intuition. Could never go wrong with that. Last card I have for you is the Four of Pentacles here, Scorpio, and this simply means that either Scorpio is lift, you know, withholding love and affection towards someone, or someone is doing that to you. On either side, someone needs to release and let 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 up a little bit. Okay, that's how I read the Four of Pentacles. All right, so that's your reading, your general reading. Let's throw some cards from the um, Message of Oracle deck here. And see, yeah, Message of Love Oracle deck to see what they want to say. And these could be messages, Scorpio, in terms of how you feel towards your partner, person that you're dating or whatever, and vice versa. All right, messages for Scorpio. Oh, man, I apologize for my... Neglected. Okay, I failed to give you what you need. Mm. And decisive, I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Okay, somebody, there's some sort of uncertainty going on here. And then third one is reveal. I want to tell you the truth. All right. If you have to tell somebody that you like them, Scorpio, you're falling in love with them, Scorpio, you got to tell them. Speak what's on your mind. Don't hold nothing back. All right. From the uh, Romance Angels Oracle deck, let's see what they want to add to your spread. I'm looking at the Two of Pentacles, I'm looking at the World card, the Seven of Pentacles, as well as the Ten of Pentacles. Well, at least for the single Scorpios out there, you have a lot of options that are available, that could be available for you. So, you know, put your energy out there. And, you know, even though I don't have any cards to indicate, you know, being invited out or invitations, don't turn down any invitations. But, you know, from family members or friends, because you never know during that social, you know, that social setting. Uh, what could, you know, transpire or occur. So never turn down any social invites. Up next, uh, well, unrequited love. Uh, this, yeah, this one says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Second card is new love. Here we go. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Third card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Now, this could be... Um, Couples just, you know, retreating for the uh, Valentine's holiday. Like I said, rendezvous, weekend getaways or whatever. But anyway, in any instance, this is what I have for you in the month of uh, February 2024, Scorpio. Just me interpreting the cards. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it if you can. I'd appreciate that. Just enjoy the month ahead. Enjoy all aspects of the relationships. We're just here to learn. That's all it is. And then when it's all over, it's over, right? So just make yourself happy uh, no matter what you're doing. Anyway, um, also just keep smiling for me. Remember to keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.